So, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer tokens from Solana to Neon and from Neon to Solana using uh, Neon Pass UI. First of all, uh, you should connect to the right uh, network in MetaMask wallet. We will connect to so-called Neon DevNet network. Actually, it's just a proxy that is, uh, translates uh, Ethereum requests to the DevNet uh, Solana network where Neon EVM is deployed. Um, so, uh, settings of this network is next. Going to settings, going to networks and Neon DevNet. Now I suggest to you to write down this new RPC URL and chain ID. We will use it. You will use it to create a new network in your MetaMask. Uh, after you've done it, uh, you should select network, add network, and copy uh, these settings here. New RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol is neon but it's not crucial. The network name is Neon DevNet and uh, then your MetaMask will be set up. Uh, Phantom Wallet should be connected to uh, DevNet also. Yes, it is connected to DevNet but this DevNet is Solana DevNet where our De uh, Neon EVM is deployed. Uh, I will switch to my wallet 2. Uh, now you can see here I have a known token uh, with amount of 59 unknown tokens. Actually this is our test USDT token uh, and we will transfer it test USDT token from here Phantom to to here MetaMask. Now I have 59 I use the T tokens in Phantom and uh, 149.99 use the T tokens in Neon. I'm going to Neon Pass Live. Next, I should connect uh, my Phantom and MetaMask wallet. First, I will connect Phantom wallet. Yes, it is connected. I select token that I would like to transfer. I select use the T and saying I would like to send 9 USDT tokens to my uh, Neon or MetaMask wallet. I click Next and then I will connect uh, MetaMask wallet. Here it is, it is connected. I will uh, obtain 9 USDTs and I will pay the commission of uh, 0005 souls from my Phantom wallet. Yeah, you should have a non-zero balance in souls. You should have some soul in your Phantom wallet to be able to pay for commission. I click next and and I click confirm. After that, Neon Pass initiates Phantom wallet to sign transaction into Solana. I approve it. Yes. Transaction was sent to Solana. Now you now we can see uh, how it uh, handles by Solana. We're waiting for confirmations. Waiting for finalization. It is finalized now, and now we can see that my unknown token balance is just 15, so nine tokens out, and uh, my MetaMask balance is 858 uh, and it was 849 USDTs so tokens were transferred um, now I'm going to follow the backward transfer uh, from Neon to Solana to do that I'll click this round button here and I will transfer from Neon to Solana I'll connect MetaMask wallet MetaMask wallet connected and I will transfer, let's say, USDT tokens again. Now I have uh, 858 USDT tokens in my Neon or MetaMask wallet. And uh, I have uh, only 50 tokens in Phantom wallet. 
I will select USDT tokens and I will transfer 50 just 50 tokens next I'll connect phantom wallet wallet connected next and confirm uh, first of all neon pass initiates metamask wallet to sign approval transaction by doing this we allow phantom wallet to transfer tokens from neon EVM to the Solana we click confirm and then neon pass initiate phantom wallet to sign a transfer transaction uh, after that tokens will be transferred uh, to do that you also have non-zero soul balance in your wallet in phantom proof transaction was sent to Solana and uh, we already can see that USDT balance is lower than it was before it's only uh, it's 0 0.8 and the balance of USDT tokens in Phantom Wallet is 100 so transaction finalized tokens were sent